Where are you going? <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Jenny, a second year family medicine resident. Welcome back to my channel. In previous videos, I've mentioned that waking up early is one of the keys to success in life. So today, I'm going to share with you some of my tips for waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Hey, silly. Tip number one, go to sleep earlier. No one is trying to tell you to wake up at 5 a.m. and sleep just a little bit. I think it's very important to get as much sleep as possible. Eight hours of sleep is best. Um, and the only way to do that is if we go to sleep earlier. Every time I sleep earlier, I wake up feeling more rested. I feel better. My skin feels better. I feel like I have less wrinkles. So if you can, try to go to sleep earlier. Tip number two, whatever you do, don't hit the snooze button, ever. Do you ever notice that you don't feel well rested after you wake up from hitting the snooze button? Sure, those five to 10 minutes feel amazing, but actually when you wake up, you feel terrible. And that feeling of feeling more tired is because you woke up in the middle of your REM cycle. So you feel more sluggish for hours after you wake up. Which leads us into tip number three, wake up at the same time every day. Your body is shown to have more quality sleep if you go to sleep at the same time and wake up at the same time every day. We doctors label this as, quote, sleep hygiene, end quote. To have good sleep hygiene, we recommend going to sleep at the same time, waking up at the same time, no screen time, two hours, at least two hours before you go to bed and don't do anything else in bed like reading, eating, because then you'll end up associating those things with your bed instead of sleep. After a while, your body will naturally wake itself up at 5 a.m. without even you having to set the alarm. Tip number four, do something you enjoy in the morning, whether that be meditation, reading a book, journaling, exercising, just sit in silence, Studies show that your mood in the morning affects your productivity all day. I obviously don't have a lot of time in the morning before I head to work and don't laugh, but what I do to meditate, my form of meditation, is just sitting on the toilet, brushing my teeth, and focusing on my breathing. And I think of a grateful thought and to hopefully change my mood and give myself a happy mood in the morning. And my last tip, probably the most important, is to have a purpose. What is the reason why you're waking up at 5 a.m.? Is it to be more productive? Find time to exercise so you can get that six pack you've been working towards since sixth grade? Find your reason. For me, I have to work. But also, I wake up at 5 a.m. because I want to spend time with my family. I want to work while they're asleep and I want to be around them when they're awake. Why it is growing way too fast for me to be missing out on any of this stuff. So if I have to sacrifice my sleep by waking up a little bit earlier, I'll do that so I can enjoy all this time with him. So that's all the tips I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed this type of video. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see more of a tips of how to wake up at 5 a.m. versus a vlog and it was split pretty much 50-50. So I hope this counts as a mini vlog for those of you who wanted to see a vlog. Um, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Follow me on Instagram for anything you wanna see in between. Bye. Peace.
What you got? You got you got chicken? You got chicken? Uh, you got chicken? Yeah. Chicken. Uh, yeah, chicken. Uh, huh? Uh, Say hi. <laughs>